Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel here at SBCC. My name is James, and today I want to share my verse with you. And my verse, as I was thinking about it, I was praying about it, you know, I actually thought about Costco. I don't know if any of you guys are members of Costco. I love Costco because they have so many things in bulk. They got cheap food at the food court. But the thing is, I realize that maybe for a lot of Christians and churches, we actually look a lot like Costco. And what I mean by that is, Costco is a place where a bunch of people have the same membership and they belong to the same place. And yet when they go, they just kind of go to get what they want, what they need. They're only really looking to buy for themselves. And then on top of that, they just want to get in and out as quickly as they can. They want to make it convenient, smooth. And I think a lot of people treat the church the same way. And I don't think that's the way that God wanted us to connect. I don't think that's the way that God wanted us to be. See, I think He wanted us to be unified, and I think He wanted us to be unified to look more like puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces that come together to create a bigger, more beautiful picture. Because I think that's what unity does. Unity brings so many things to just how the church should be. It brings about power. And what I mean by power is, I mean, think about just looking at your hand. I mean, individually, we have our fingers here, and by themselves, they're not too strong. But when you bring your fingers together, you create a more powerful force. And in the same way, it, it, unity creates beauty because just like puzzle pieces, when you see them just individually and by themselves, they're not too special. But when you bring them together, you see something beautiful. And, and then in unity too, I feel like there's purpose. Because Jesus himself, before going to the cross in John 17, he prayed that all of his believers would be unified. Why? So that it could show the world that we are loved by Him, that we belong to Him. And so there's purpose in unity as well. And that's why for me, in 2021, my verse came from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. It says, Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Again, it says, Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. For me, this is my verse in 2021 because of what happened in 2020. In 2020, we dealt with a lot of isolation. We dealt with a lot of social distancing. We dealt with a lot of limited interaction. And on top of that, it was a year ramped with a lot of tension and emotion. We had political unrest. We had racial injustice. We had so many things that had divided so many people. I mean, think about it. I, I saw family members turn on family members. I saw friends become no longer friends but enemies. And then I saw even Christians turn on other Christians. And I, I can't help but think that this is the ploy of the enemy, using division to divide and conquer believers. When in reality, the way of Jesus is unity. And that's why I believe it is so powerful and it's such a reminder for us that you and I as believers, we, like Paul tells us here in Ephesians 4, 3, we need to make every effort to be unified and to have peace. And this idea of making every effort puts it on us, that we can't casually just expect it to happen, that we can't just be passive and hoping that it'll happen, but that we must be actively doing everything on our part, making every effort to be unified and to have peace with one another. And I love that our church is actually living out this verse because as many of you guys know, we are planning and we are making arrangements to come back and meet in person. And this journey hasn't been easy. We have been praying about it. We've been talking about it. And as we were making these plans and making these announcements, we heard from a lot of people. There were those that were ready to come back. They felt we should come back. They needed to come back. And then there were those that just felt the opposite. Felt like maybe we didn't need to come back just yet, that we were still growing and learning and being unified together online. For others, they just didn't feel comfortable. And it would have been so easy to take a side and say, well, one person or one group needs to feel this way. They need to just get with the program. But no, instead, we wanted to make every effort to still have peace and unity amongst all believers. And so here we are in 2021 doing more than what we were doing in 2020. We are having services online. We have services in person, inside, and on top of that, services outside so that we can make every effort for everybody to come and worship together. And I hope and I pray that you would consider how you can take on this challenge to make every effort to do your part, to no longer just be a consumer and a Costco type Christian, but to be part of a puzzle 
and doing your part to connect with others so that we could be unified together. Church, because when we come together and when we're unified, we're more powerful, we're more beautiful, and we create and we show a bigger picture. The purpose of our church being together shows the great love of Christ to the world. So let's do our part and let's make every effort to be unified and to share the peace. Hey, thanks again for joining us here at SBCC. We hope that you are blessed and we hope that you will go and make every effort to be a blessing and to be unified together as believers.